I got flagged. Hey guys, my name is Patrick. What I do on this channel, I talk about eBay dropshipping most of the time and also marketing and investing. And today I want to talk about what has happened to me earlier this year, which is one of my accounts on eBay got flagged. What it means is basically that your listings have lowered their visibility to other people by 90%. eBay flagged their account and they don't show your listings as often as you would like to or as it used to be before your account gets flagged. So let me give you a little bit of more history about this account that I had in particular and my journey with eBay dropshipping and let me explain you what eBay dropshipping is or at least the method I'm using. Earlier this year about um, I would say January 2020 I found this method called eBay dropshipping and specifically retail dropshipping. So I was pretty new to this whole concept. I knew what dropshipping is but you know the process of selling goods that you don't own because I've seen and I've tested Shopify dropshipping in the past. But eBay dropshipping from the retail stores was something new to me. It sounded very easy and in fact it is pretty easy to do. So retail dropshipping is basically a method where you use a popular American suppliers like Walmart, Home Depot, Overstock, whatever. There's like a bunch of them. Basically any main retail store you list their items on eBay with a higher price and whenever someone buys that product from you, let's say they buy a microwave or something that you've listed on eBay but you found it on Walmart, you go on walmart.com, buy the, buy the microwave and send it directly to your customer that bought it from you on eBay. Simple, easy, copy paste formula, pretty much. So the more I got into it, the more listings I had, the more you know money I was making. I started making money two, three months after I started. So I started in January and the real money started kicking in in like March, April-ish, beginning of April. Basically when this whole mess with this, uh, you know, crazy times we had in 2020 started. Basically when this whole mess started, the e-commerce got a huge bump in sales because nobody could go to the stores as stores were closed so everyone was starting buying stuff online and in fact like late march i started running out of inventory because the items were selling like crazy the retailers i was using walmart they couldn't keep up with the orders so what happened is that very often i was running out of the inventory but fortunately enough i know a few tricks that help me handle this situation because i'm pretty good with customer service so i know how to you know calm down the the customers and explain them the situation in the way that keeps me happy and they're happy you know the customer service is all about understanding the the other side and trying to find a common happy goal a compromise. Here you go. That's what I, the word. That's the word I was looking for. Regardless of this situation, my business started booming. The May, June, it was, and April were pretty, pretty good. In July, I've noticed a huge drop of impressions of my listings. The way you can track this is that if you're using promoted listings, which I was doing that. If you don't know what promoted listings is, it's basically an option on eBay that. For the percentage of the sale, in my case, it was 1%. eBay was, selling, uh, eBay was showing my listings more often to bigger audience. That way I was getting more views. And if I sell something, I just give a percentage to eBay. So if you use promoter listings and you go to the marketing tab, you can track the promoter listings impressions. So my promoted listings impressions went from like 90,000 to like 2,000 in July basically like a 90% drop, which doesn't sound good. And I decided to give it a few days and see how it goes. So I gave it like three, four days and I saw that the promoter listings were in the same range. It was something between two to 5K impressions and they were not going up and they, they were not going higher than that. So I knew I got flack. I just went on another eBay dropshipping Facebook groups that I'm a member of and I saw that there's a lot of people having the same issue so I guess in July eBay decided to flag a lot of accounts that they were thinking that they might be dropshippers. In this case what I should have done is give up and watch Netflix and I kind of did. I actually did stop doing eBay dropshipping for a little bit because I was involved in other different projects and I just didn't have time to 
get back to it. But I didn't give up totally on it. I just I just had to finish some other stuff and I decided I'm gonna come back and you know redo the whole thing because I just think it's it's great. It's it's a pretty easy, simple business model that anyone can implement. So now in October I decided to open a new store and try to not get flat again. So there are a few things that I implemented. I think I'm gonna make a whole video about it because there's a lot of the things that go in the category of not getting flagged there's a whole list that you can do and watch you know in order to keep your account safe and don't let this happen again but in this video i just want to talk about a few the main stuff big differences that i've decided to follow number one is don't use any api software what that means is basically i try to stay away from any software that is connected to the ebay through the api no tracker bot api no auto ds api nothing like that everything can be connected through file exchange that way eBay will not know that I'm using software that's the biggest one the second thing I'm doing is I add listings manually meaning I don't even upload them through the file exchange I literally just go on eBay and manually add listings and copy the description change the titles etc the third thing that I'm doing is when I upload the listings I don't copy the the images from the supplier website. So for example, if you're using Walmart, which I do most of the time, when I go on Walmart and I decide to list this item on eBay, I don't right click and save the image and then upload it to eBay. What I do, I take, I take a screenshot and upload the screenshot to, to eBay. The reason being is that if you save it on your desktop and then upload it to eBay, that image has coded you know, a piece of code, it, it says in it that it's coming from walmart.com. So the, the eBay software might track this and might be smart enough to recognize it that, you know, oh, this guy's a dropshipper because he has this image from Walmart. So I take screenshots that way I stay clean. The last thing that I do, and this is kind of crazy because I feel like this is the hardest part to, to follow is I don't list the very popular items that other dropshippers are using. So for example, there is this like, chair that's very popular on ebay and i see a lot of dropshippers are using it it's on walmart here's the picture of it so i stay away from items like that I, if i see there's a lot of competition i stay away from it i don't try to use items like this instead i use the analytics to do the product research and find items that are rare but they still sell so low competition still selling and thankfully enough, Walmart has like millions of listings. I can be picky and just decide which one I want to pick. Moreover, if you pick like rare items, you can have a little bit higher profit margins because there's not that much competition. So it's a win-win situation for me. The only hard part about it is it takes a lot of time. This is not a race, okay? I'm here for a long run. So I don't really care if it's gonna take a lot of time. I'm here to build a trust for eBay, show them that, you know, I'm not a dropshipper, retail dropshipper. I'm just a guy selling stuff. And it just happens that I'm using Walmart, but you know, eBay doesn't have to know this. Remember, make sure when you create a new account that you don't start selling like crazy. Be slow. Don't go crazy. Don't list a lot of items at once. This is what I'm doing. Next three months, I'm not going to have more than maybe 150 listings. That's it. Because I don't want to be seen as a, you know, oh, look, this guy went from zero to like 100,000 in sales in a month. He's definitely something is up. I don't want to be under the eBay radar. So again, be slow. I'm gonna take my time. If you wanna do the same thing, follow my steps, you should be fine. Again, I'm gonna make a video about a whole list of stuff that you can do to avoid being flagged. But this is just like my story of what has happened recently. And let me know if you got flagged. And if you did flag get flagged, did you restart your account? Are you using a new one? What are you doing right now? What is your strategy? And I think that will be it, guys. So thank you for watching. I hope you see you on the next one. And Take care. Cześć.